What's up guys, it's Kayla and welcome back to Gakuin Club. We are going to continue where we left off with Kamiki. I do apologize for the long break on this one. I decided to start it on a whim right before finals without thinking, of course. But I'm out of school now and there won't be any more long breaks in between episodes, so I hope you guys are ready to get into it. It's been a few days since I transferred. I'm finally getting used to life here at the academy. Even my job at the nightclub that I've had some initial reservations about is coming along with all the help I've been receiving. I have the nightclub tonight as well, but I still have some time before I need to be there. Homeroom ended a little early and it's still a bit too soon to be heading over. But I don't have enough time to go back to my dorm. Maybe I'll take this opportunity to walk around the school. I make the decision, grab my bag, and head out of the classroom. So I've headed down this hallway, but just then, is that a piano? Is that coming from down there? I find myself being drawn to the music. The sound's coming from the music room. The sound of the piano is coming just beyond that door. Such beautiful playing. But I wonder why it feels like there's some sadness in the music. I wouldn't want whoever's playing to stop. With this thought, I quietly listen to the music from the other side of the door. Suddenly, the music abruptly stops. You don't need to stand over there. Come in. What? Is this voice... I excuse me. Surprise, I open the door to the music room. When I enter the music room, the large grand piano in the back jumps out at me. And there's Renji sitting right in front of it. Ah, I was wondering who it was. It's you. I'm sorry. I had some time before I needed to go to the nightclub, so I was taking a walk when I heard the piano and I just... It's a little romantic to think that my playing might have brought you here. Renji says and narrows his eyes playfully. Oh good, it doesn't seem like he's angry. Actually, he seems to be in a good mood. Um, what's that song you were playing called? I feel like I've heard it before, but... I ask Grinji. I'm not very knowledgeable on classical or piano music. Oh, the song's called The Girl with the Flaxen Hair. Renji answers. He turns to the piano and begins to play again. The song that had brought me here begins to fill the music room. It's a wonderful song. Do you like this song too? It's the first time I've really heard it before, but your kindness really comes through this song, and I just think it's wonderful. There's no feeling behind it. What? Renji mutters and stops playing. Renji, um, what's the matter? Renji stands up and approaches me. He sweeps back my hair with his hand, the same hand that had been playing the piano just moments ago. There's no feeling that can possibly come through my piano playing. It's just not possible. What could he mean? Renji says, but I'm unable to ask him about it after seeing the look of sadness on his face. I'm sorry. Renji apologizes and gently caresses my hair before leaving the music room. I'm sure this song must be something important and special to him. All I can do is watch silently as Renji leaves the music room behind. The nightclub opens as usual. There are many customers here today and the club is filled with happy voices. I wonder if Renji's okay. Even with all the chores I have to do, I can't help but be worried about Renji. I take a peek at the dining floor from the back room and see Renji playing a card game with some guests. Oh dear me, it seems that Lady Luck did not favor me tonight. Renji puts down his cards in dismay and the crowd around him erupts in cheers. I can't believe that Renji lost. It's unbelievable. I gather from the way the guests are reacting that it's very rare that Renji would lose at a card game. Could it be that you're not feeling well today? The one expressing this concern is none other than the guest who had beaten him at the card game. Oh, please do not worry, young lady. Even I have my off days like this from time to time. But I cannot forgive myself for causing a young lady to worry about me. If you would permit me, I would like to play you a song. Is there something you'd like to request? Um, can it be anything? Yes, of course. Anything you like. The guest thinks about it for a while before she speaks to him. Then I choose the girl with the flaxen hair. Isn't that the song Renji played earlier? After Renji hears her request, it almost seems like he freezes for a brief instant. Is he okay? But despite my worry, Renji gallantly walks over to the piano and takes a seat. Then I will play it as you've requested. Renji quietly begins to play. The other guests fall silent and listen. Renji performs the song to the end with the entire club watching him. When Renji's done playing, he's showered with compliments and applause. What a wonderful performance! I'm glad you enjoyed it. It's well worth putting in my very best. Renji announces with a smile after he takes a look around at the surrounding crowd. 
So it is a little early, but we'll be closing the club on that note tonight. Oh no! I wanted to hear more! Renji ignores the guests, please, and leaves the dining hall. R Renji! I call out to him as he passes me, but Renji continues on without even turning to look back at me. Unable to leave it alone, I decide to chase after Renji. While I've chased after Renji, I've completely lost sight of him. I wonder where he went. I take a look around and see that the door to the unused music room is slightly ajar. Could he be... I open the door and go inside. Renji widens his eyes in surprise when he sees that I followed him here. Why are you here? Well, I was just curious about how you were doing after you played that song. That's your only reason? Yeah. I suppose he's right that it's not much of a reason. But I can't let Renji be alone right now. And I can't really explain why, but I feel like something sounded different from when you played that song this afternoon. Well, shoot. I didn't think you'd be able to notice such a minute difference in the sound. Renji lets out a small sigh. I actually didn't want to play it. Are you talking about the girl with the flaxen hair that you just played? Yeah, it's a special song that holds a lot of meaning for me and someone very important to me. Every time I play that song, I'm reminded of her. Renji gets a pained look on his face. Just looking at him hurts me. I'm sorry. Oh. Why are you the one apologizing? You've done nothing wrong. But... You are such a kind person. Renji says and gently pats me on the head. You need to be careful. If you're too nice, some bad men will get you. What does... What does that mean? Just as I'm about to ask him that... Hey, what are you two doing in here? Kagurizaka! Kagurizaka is standing there by the doorway, having flung the door open. I came looking for you because you were missing, and I catch you two on a date. Are you serious? It's a date? I blush at Kagurizaka's words. This is not a date. Then what is it? You two are all alone in here flirting. How is that not a date? But that's... Oh no, I can't tell him that Renji just shared with me. Anyways, punishment for this little date, I'm going to send you and Kamiki out shopping for supplies. I told you that this isn't a date. But Kakarazaka leaves the music room after saying his piece. I'm sorry, it seems like Kakarazaka got the wrong impression. I can do the shopping on my own. Like I said earlier, you've done nothing wrong. Besides, it's going to be too hard to do all that shopping by yourself. Or is it that you don't want to go anywhere with me? No, it's nothing like that. Then it's decided. Renji chuckles when he sees me rendered speechless. Okay guys, that was it for chapter two. I think we're ready to go ahead and move on to chapter three, but let's read a little bit about Renji's story. Renji Kamiki is a mild-mannered soul who treats women right. He's kind in all situations and you find yourself growing close to him. As you get to know him, you learn of the tragic past regarding his family. Ooh, mysterious. I'm kind of interested to see what Wataru's route is about too, let me see. Wataru Kagurizaka's story. Everyone in the nightclub sees Wataru Kagurizaka as a little brother. You always have to keep an eye on him, and through that, the two of you grow closer. One day, you learn that he has a fiancé, and behind their engagement lies a big secret. Okay. And Saku. Among all of the unique members of the nightclub, you find yourself slowly drawn to the silent and eccentric Saku Takazawa. As you get to know each other, the weighty problem he carries will be revealed. We've already played Toma Sakai's story. And lastly, there's Yuya Yamaoka. Yuya Yamaoka has a personality that's hard to get a grasp on. You can tell he's older by the way that he acts, and your heart grows closer through the time you spend together at the nightclub. It's just when you're getting closer that you learn the truth behind his real birthplace. Okay, guys. Well, I'm going to go ahead and continue with Rinji Kamiki for the next episode, but I don't know. Wataru's story is looking pretty spicy. I think we're going to have to play his next. Let me know in the comments below which guy pops out to you most, and I hope you look forward to the next episode. Bye, guys!